Hey everybody, what's up? Inspire here, and in today's tutorial, I will be demonstrating on how to get this desktop clock for your desktop, obviously. So the program I'm using is called Rain Meter, very lightweight, and um, it's just a simple program that um, it runs add-ons or you call them skins that basically do various types of things. There's unlimited amounts of various skins that do. Um, basically anything you want them to you can also create your own um, and there are thousands out there that are already made for you um, they range from weather to clocks to um, launchers docks icons um, backgrounds all types of stuff like that so once again it's very lightweight so as much um, it depends on how many skins you have running but um, if you have multiple skins running um, you know that take up your whole entire desktop your computer will seem a little bit sluggish but other than that the program is very lightweight and um, for this because um, I only have this clock running right now that's all I really use so actually to get this clock um, you have two options you can go to customize.org or deviantart these are the two most popular websites and the most two recommended websites where you can find skins for rain meter but um, it'll be under super colossal don't worry I have the link in the description to download rain meter itself and to also download the skin go ahead and click it and you want to download it by hitting download file now I'm not gonna download it well yeah I'll do it just for demonstration purposes and I'll show you how to install it, but I won't do it itself. All right, so um, most, if not all, skins come in a WinRAR. All you want to do is extract it. Well, excuse me, a .rar file. Um, extract it or zip, same thing. And you have a folder. Inside the folder, um, you would just have the different width of this um, certain skin and um, just the stuff on how to run it and all that. But I'm going to be teaching you how to do it, so you need to follow those. So basically, all you want to do head up into your start menu go ahead and go to your documents go to rain meter once you install it this folder will be in your documents then head over to skins and all you want to do is drag and drop the folder but I already have it here under super colossal so I'm not gonna do that but um that's all you have to do is drag and drop and then most likely likely you will have to quit uh, rain meter and start it back up only take a couple seconds and in order to activate it uh, you want to go into your task manager I think you call it here right click your main rain meter icon and go into configs and then it should be listed under super colossal now these things here um, are different sizes as you see 1024 1028 well 12 1280 uh, 1600 and 800 um ranging from the sizes of your monitor but I, I choose one of the small ones because I don't really like it taking up that much space and as you see here I have plenty of other skins here and that's really it um to edit it this is not for all skins this is just for this one in particular all I have to do is right click select edit skin and you can choose uh the font the um you can also change the size to customize it besides the preset ones you can change the font color that uses the hex colors um really easy to do also i found out with winamp um i don't know it doesn't work in itunes but with winamp um what you can do is as soon as you start playing the song the song title comes up here and the time it is at and how much time is left comes up so it's like a little plug in and it automatically um changes to that as soon as you install WinApp or if you already have this and installed WinApp before but installed this uh, skin on top of it and it will just all come together and it will do that but you don't really have to mess with these settings unless you want to change the color and change the size other than that uh, you're good to go and um, I suggest if you use the clock a lot or if you use plenty of skins a lot um, just make sure that every time you restart your computer they start up with the computer it doesn't take long it's nothing um, like an antivirus that takes up you know a lot of space in it and it makes your computer start up longer or something like that is you know really simple quick and lightweight so thank you guys for watching this tutorial stay tuned for more and don't forget to follow me on twitter at inspire blue which is obviously to the bottom right corner of this video so thank you guys for watching and peace